What's going on guys? So today we're actually going to try something a little new. Um, I bought the the Draggy, which is um, it's like a performance tracker. I know most cars, like sports cars, come with them now, but uh, I heard good things about them. Uh, and this can go on any car, so if your car doesn't happen to have it, then this will work. But just easy device, really small device. Um, what I'm going to do is, this is a mount, um, you just got to stick it on your dash somewhere and then it's a magnet and as you can see it sticks right to it so uh, it recommends doing it horizontally so it gets a good signal so what I'm gonna do is um, I'm gonna try it on the AMG and I'm also gonna compare it to the uh, performance page but um, I'd rather not I, I don't really want to um, like mount this on there but because I don't want it to be a pain in the ass um, later on to take off but uh fuck it we'll we'll just do it anyways um so yeah we're gonna see how it is we're gonna compare it and then i'm also gonna try out different angles um i bought this new mount where did i put it um so yeah radar detector doesn't want to stick on but i bought this new mount um and it, it mounts here so you'll have a nice angle of the outside and then even me like with the steering wheel so I think that's pretty neat and um, we'll see how it goes today but um, I'm, we're gonna see how accurate uh, the, the drag I think is around like hundred and twenty five hundred and fifty dollars somewhere around there and um, we'll, we'll compare it to the performance pages on the uh, AMG GT 63s and see how accurate but uh, I think the fastest I've gone in here was 3.1 so we'll see what the draggy says all right got the uh, Sticky part exposed now, so I'm gonna stick it on the dash, and I'm actually gonna do it right on the other side of the steering wheel, so I can't see it and it won't get in the way and everything. But let me make sure it's uh, clean before I do that. All right, seems like a clean enough surface now, so I'm gonna stick it on. All right, and hopefully it sticks with the pulls and everything that we do, but we'll see. So I'm gonna log into my phone, see if it's connected. All right, so I found out you actually just need to go to the app directly and, and connect it. So it looks like it's connected. I don't think there's a strong signal because I'm in my garage. So um, we'll, we'll pull it outside here in a second and see how it looks. All right, I'm out of the garage, as you can see. Um, I'm pretty sure it doesn't say low uh, set anymore. So looks like we're good to go for um, connection and everything and then uh, we'll see how it um, how it looks once we're actually driving but um, I'm gonna mount this camera up behind me with the new mount and then the GoPro is gonna be on the windshield all right so we're finally in the spot that um, I'm gonna try to do this uh, 0 to 60 pool I'm pretty sure there's not gonna be that many people coming but we'll see I mean there's a little bit of traffic here and there but I th I'm sure most of this is dead ends uh, in that direction and so we'll see um, I got the draggy set here I'm gonna do um, 0 to 60 all right so that's set uh, I'm gonna straighten out really quick tires should be warm enough but we'll see Hopefully no one's coming. That'd be great if there's a cop that comes. But okay, so um, we're in drive. Uh, I'm gonna try to put it on the performance page really quick. So I just had a security guard drive right by me. I don't know if you could see that. Okay, I thought he was going to stop and talk to me, but he didn't. All right, so let's let's get ready. So the, both things are on, both draggy and the performance pages are on. So let's get going. So turn off the hazards. Don't think anyone's coming. Um, we're in drive now. We're going to pull back. Uh, of course, someone comes. Damn it. Okay. All right, someone's going right now. Um, I'm gonna try this again. So I figured it out. I don't know why I always forget how to do this, but 
All right, foot mash down, pull the pedals back. at a 3.26 so I don't know if you can which direction so 3.26 on there so they're they're pretty similar I mean I don't know which one's more accurate um, hopefully the draggy is but all right so we'll go back and try another one I'm gonna try to get it I don't want to do a manual one so we'll see Three point two two on the draggy, so I don't know if you can see that, but we'll try one more, maybe. Um, but it seems pretty. I mean, it's if anything, it's a tenth of a second off, which is. Uh, I mean, I know if you're going for your own records and everything, uh, that that means a lot. But so a quarter mile, that would have. Okay, I didn't really run the quarter mile, but eighth mile would have been eight seconds, which is really slow um, for this car. So, yeah, Zinner 63.22. So that's an all-wheel drive. Um, all-wheel drive four-door. So it's pretty damn good. So I, I held it a little bit longer to try to build boost and see if that helped, but I don't think it really did. I mean, so this would be the third one. Let's try to beat. So I'm going to turn traction control all the way off. We'll see how that goes. Actually, I'll do one with not in all the way off, but in sport mode. Okay, so this is sport mode. The, the last one, okay, so the 3.22 was traction control on. This is sport uh, traction control, so we'll also compare those. All right, let's go. Three point three two for that one. So that's what trash control off, but I don't think I spun, so maybe it's just getting warm. But um, next one's gonna be fully off. So this is fully off traction control. So um, still all wheel drive, but no traction control. Got my AC and off and everything. Not like that it helps that much, but we'll see how this goes. I'm gonna try to see my my boost and everything just so I know I'm launching at the highest possible boost that I can all right squeaky brakes squeaky brakes I think they're they're warm all right so traction controls all the way off let's see how we do no one coming both ways see how much horsepower we're actually using but 3.43 on the AMG uh, settings and that said 3.33 so only a one hundredth of a second slower than the last one so it seems better to do better with uh, traction control on which is uh, interesting so um, last one and I'm traction controls traction control is back on but I'm going to see how much horsepower I do, which I don't, it's probably not super smart. I, I can probably actually go back in the video and look, but I'm gonna try to watch it myself. Um, and then, I know things are getting a little warm. So, I'll do this quick. 
All right, let's go and. So as you can see, um, it's about a tenth of a second off. So I, I, I honestly don't know which one's more accurate. Uh, but I, actually, I think that's it. I'm not gonna bother taking any photos. But um, let me pull up here so people can go around me if they need to. But yeah, all right, guys. So uh, that was that was the car uh that says so this is a 2019 amg 63s um four-door coupe uh, the long one but um so we just went over the draggy and how it compares to the amg performance pages and everything uh they were only a tenth of a second off which is not bad at all um the fastest so the fastest pull i've ever done in the car was 3.1 and i think that the prep on the surface was a little bit better um so uh, I'm just on a normal road right here, but um, we're gonna go through the list right here. And um, the fastest I did today was a 3.26 on the on the draggy. And then the slowest I ran today was the 3.7 on the last one. Seems to do better with traction control on. Um, so, uh, but I, I spun a lot on that last one. I'm not sure why. I spun more than when I didn't have it on. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching guys. Uh, Hopefully I can put out more content like this. I'm gonna try to do the same test on the uh, with the Demon. Um, we'll see how traction goes on that. This is an unprepped surface, so I might need to air down quite a bit and try the launch control on that. But um, I wanna say uh, thanks for watching. If you uh, enjoyed the content, uh, subscribe, leave a comment, uh, leave a like too. Uh, and I hope to put some more videos out for you guys.